welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this look. So if you want to see how, stay tuned. Okay, first off we're going to start off with the eyeshadow base. The one I'm using is by P. Louise in the color Rumor 01. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a flat brush and apply some on here just to blank out my eyelids. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some powder and just set it. So, let's look for one over here. Okay, so the powder I'm going to use to set it is the Maybelline Stay Matte. And I'm just going to take a clean brush. And just put that over there like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush that I used to set my eyes and then I'm going to use this color wedge from MAC as a um, crease shade. So I'm just going to buff that into the crease. Make sure it's roughed in nicely. Don't have any harsh lines. That's what's nice about using a big brush like this, is that it blends really good. So the next shade that I am going to use is this very vibrant red color. So this is called Red Brick. This is also by MAC. Okay, so I'm going to take, no, I'm not gonna take this brush. I'm going to take the 217 by MAC and dump it into this red brick shade and we are going to start blending this into our crease. Make sure you tap it because I've already got foundation on and you don't want that to fall down. When you're working with bright colors like this, it's very important to be very patient. You don't want to put too much product on the brush. Where it slowly starts to take shape. So what you can do is also take this fluffy brush that you used in the beginning and you can also dump it in very lightly just to start blending out that line. Once both eyes are done, 
we are going to go on to our next shade. Let's make sure it's all buffed in and seamlessly. That's what the first color looks like. So the next color that we are going to take is a color called Swiss Chocolate. It looks like this. It's also a shade from MAC. And then again, I'm going to take my 217 brush. And what I'm going to start doing is darkening my outer crease, the outer corner. So what I'm going to do in circular motions, I am going to start adding some depth. Oh, look at that already. See, I'm using circular motions, really dipping the brush into the crease. So you put the bulk of the product in over there. As you blend and this product is on the brush, you start bringing it in more towards the corner of your eye, the inner corner of your eye. And then again, you can take your big fluffy brush and you can just start buffing that out. And again, I'm gonna go do this eye and I'll be right back. Cool, so once both eyes are blended out, we are going to go into that same first crease color wedge, our transition, sh transition shade. And we are going to put it under our eye with our 239SH brush. So we're just going to start and just bring this under our eye. So basically we're going to copy what we did on the top. So we're going to take Swiss chocolate. Oh, I'm not holding this in front of the camera, sorry. So then lastly, what we're going to do, we're going to take that, what color is it? It was that red brick shade on the same brush and start buffing it in. So. Just like that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush, uh, it's called the Accent brush, it's got a little tip like this, and we are going to make this look even more orange. <laughs> so I am going to take this shade from MAC, it is called Orange, it is very bright. We are going to spray the tip with our Fix Brush Spray, just to wet it, and then what we're going to do, we're going to dunk it in. And we're going to paste this on our eyes, on our lid. I may or may not have with it a bit too much, but it's okay, we'll roll with it. <laughs> So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the other eye. We'll blend that in now.
a lot of people think that you can only do this with um, with shimmer shades to create a foil look, but you can most definitely also do it with with matte shades. So we're gonna place the bulk of it where we want to. And then what we're going to do is take our crease brush, the short little one, and we're going to dump it into that shade. Oh, I'm literally covering the camera, sorry. <laughs> I need to remember. We're going to stop blending the edges out. Obviously now I'm used to using these brushes and everything, if you feel like this brush is too big for this step then you can definitely use a smaller one. I'm just so used to these. And then again, obviously you just blend out the outer edges so that it looks seamless. And then on to the next one. So next, what I'm going to do, I am going to tight line my lashes, or my lids, should I say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a brown eyeliner, uh, brown, yeah, brown. Let's take a brown eyeliner, and I'm going to tight line them. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me just get a brown eyeliner quickly. I can't find brown, so black it is. <laughs> okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to take this black eyeliner from Maybelline. And tight lining is lining the top in the lid and the bottom. This is just going to make your eyes pop even more. Let me hold this up here so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to put it here too. And I'll show you how we'll smudge that out. You see the difference it makes? Okay, so what we're going to do next is take this little brush and we're going to blend that in. So we're not necessarily going to go on our lid because that's going to be quite uncomfortable. But anything that might have missed underneath we are going to, you know, just smudge out. I keep looking at the viewfinder, sorry about that. As you can see, it just smudges it out. Like that. Now, if your eyes are sensitive, they will not like this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take another small brush. Let's see which one I am going to use. Let's just use this one. This one is from Beauty Treats. It's a 313 eyeshader. And I'm going to go into another shadow by MAC called Nylon. Looks like this. And we are just going to glitter up our inner corners quickly. Look at the difference that makes. So pretty. Also, just make that, make sure that's blended out, sorry. That is so pretty. Next up, I am going to apply falsies, but I'm going to do that off camera. You can check in my previous video how I do it or let me know down below if you want one video solely based on how I apply false lashes like my tips and tricks and things I find make it easier to do for yourself and on your own. Um, so yeah, cool. Lashes are done and the lashes that I used are from Beauty Beauty and they are in the style 
bay weeds. Next is highlighter and because I enjoyed this nylon, nylon colour so much, I am going to be using that as a highlighter. So I am going to take this brush that I got from Sephora and this little nylon shadow and I am going to lightly dab it in there and apply it to my cheek. There we go. I am not looking for something too crazy. Just a little bit of a shimmer. And then next is on for lips. The shade that I'm using is my favorite nude. It's Honey Love from MAC. This is my ultimate, ultimate favorite nude lipstick. My lips are a little bit dry, so. Before you start your makeup, put lip ice on. And then what I like to do is take my finger and blend. So this is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and like I said let me know down below in the comments if you prefer me talking in my videos or if you just prefer a small sped up quick video with music just thrown all over it. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!